now our uh, respected uh, mufti sir uh, from hamdard national foundation ladies and gentlemen viewers all the educators i want to present actually this is uh, because i'm talking from the bottom of my heart mm. uh, hakim abdul hamid sahab uh, one of india's uh, i think early days entrepreneur businessman philanthropist uh, unani ayurvedi uh, doctor then the kind of vision he set for himself and for the nation for the community uh, cannot be described in couple of sentences in just one or two minutes his life is actually a case study of how a human being can serve a nation a community through his profession through his uh, actions and uh, i just want to run a short video about uh, because you know he is no more but the work that he has done we should have uh, his own voice to understand what kind of personality he was i will follow that system which i consider for the benefits of my patients and abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous he was the boxer of a man called hakim abdul majid one of the well known unani practitioners of his day who had taught at a small unani clinic established by him in 1906 will one day reach these heights a journey from 1906 to 1992 is a story of hope faith and the humanity king abdul majid wanted a large number of people to benefit from the efficacy of unani medicine It is not at all surprising, therefore, that the name he gave to his fledging venture was Hamdar. Despite the grand achievements made by this 83 years young man, one finds not even a trace of arrogance in this man. He still goes to the Majidia Hospital every Thursday, where he attends Yunani Medicine Clinic. incredibly simple lifestyle of this man is an inspiration in itself it is not surprising that all the respected leaders be it pandit jawaharlal nehru mr adur shastri mrs indira gandhi dr zakir hosain mr morachi desai prince charles of england or late young and dynamic prime minister of india mr rajiv gandhi had nothing but praise for this man and his institutions this is what mr rajiv gandhi had to say while inaugurating the jamia hamdard university there is future and there is hope so long as there are people like hakim abdul hamid driven by the goodness of their soul sharing the pain and sufferings of fellow human so this is a business family which has given and only given and only given to the uh, to this country i want to run another small video and announce a couple of things
Thank you. Thank you. Are you listening to me? Ji, ji, Thank you very much for Mubadakran uh, sahab. Uh, I was very much delighted to see the things. And uh, you know us very well. Uh, we are working for the mankind right from the beginning. Uh, I remember after resigning government of India, I joined this project with Hakim Abdul Hamid sahab. On that time, he told that we are planning to have a university in this campus. And I have dedicated myself to build a, this university and other institutions. So we built this university. Uh, being a founder member, I know each and everything. And I remember that uh, the Ministry of HRD has accorded a status of a deemed to be university uh, in 1989. It was inaugurated by uh, the then Prime Minister Raju Gandhi. Then uh, we built another um, campus uh, calling Talimabad. Uh, we built a hundred study circle over there, hundred public school over there, and the coaching centers. In 1992, we have started, and uh, yeah, I remember the about. 800 IAS, IPS, IIR, IRS officers have finally been selected in government of India. We are doing this work calm and quiet. And uh, uh, Hakim Abdul Hamid Sahib is concerned. Uh, he was the first founder chancellor of Jamia Hamdard, having 100 acre campus, beautiful campus, and uh, uh, about, uh, I remember that foreign students uh, are also studying over there. We have separate uh, hostel for them. And uh, now we have 10 faculties having sufficient staff teaching and non-teaching. And recently, uh, the, the Ministry, of HR, uh, Ministry of Education has recommended uh, 10 institutions uh, for uh, Institute of Eminence uh, Abba, uh, and uh, Ajami Hamdat is also one of them. That is a proud. And we are number one in pharmacy uh, in uh, ranking. In, as for ranking is concerned, we are number one in pharmacy. And we have opened medical college, which is doing very well. We, ha we have pharmacy or most of the courses in Jamia Hunters are professional and there is good placements also in uh, our Jamia Hamdar. And despite we are doing a lot of CSR work. Here you have seen the distribution of blankets. Recently we have done it during COVID. We have done a lot distributed uh, ration kits to the thousands and thousands of people. Uh, you see, we are giving pension to the widows and a lot of, despite a lot of charity and education and the training, we have a business and employment uh, bureau uh, uh, established in 1972 by Hakim Abdul Sahib to help to the uh, weaker section, to, uh, to underprivileged uh, students, dropouts in students, and we have start, started a skill-based program right from 1972 up to here. Thousands and thousands of uh, students have uh, taken good jobs in government and, and uh, uh, private sectors also. Uh, I remember that uh, I was searching an instructor of, uh, uh, to teach uh, stenography because the one uh, person who came, he said that I have done I have retired as a deputy director and I have done stenography from this institute. And I want to give you, uh, give my services uh, voluntarily to this institute because whatever I have, I have with the Business and Employment Bureau. So I was very much delighted. And most of the students, they are, uh, they are well placed. And this Jamia under the students I have gone to so many countries. I found the most of the peoples are working uh, in a teaching. Uh, teaching uh, in the teaching profession and some of them in the non-teaching also. Though uh, this is the light of Hakim Abdul Hamid Sahib. He was Yunani physician and 
I would like to inform you that he has seen six uh, million patients in his life free of cost. He has built up Yunani Hospital. He has built up a uh, modern system of this uh, modern system hospital. We are running MBBS. We are running BOMS, and now we are going to have BAMS and other institution in this campus. We are planning. We have. We will go for another institution. Recently, a few uh, days back, we happened to be in Moradabad. We are going to start a community college also for the dropouts and students. So we are in the whole country. We will certainly open uh, community colleges also. So th these are the, our aims. We are doing. We are developing so many institutions. We have schools also calling Hamdard Public School. Uh, Rabia schools and other schools, and we are planning to have more schools in Delhi and out of Delhi also. Uh, these are the, our achievements we are doing for this. We hope you people should pray. We should go forward and forward. Thank you very much for this.